Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control uses data from the camera on the windscreen and the radar sensor in the front bumper to keep to the speed you want while maintaining the correct following distance from the vehicle in front. If you get too close to the vehicle in front, your vehicle will slow right down to a complete stop if need be, without you having to brake. When the following distance is sufficient again, your vehicle will return to your set cruising speed. The system works with the traffic sign detection feature to match your cruise speed to the road speed limits. Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control uses geolocation and connected map data to anticipate situations like a change in the speed limit or an upcoming bend or roundabout. The system then automatically adjusts your vehicle speed. Press this switch as many times as necessary to select the Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control function. This indicator light comes on, along with dashes to indicate that the system is ready to store a cruise speed, and the message Adaptive Cruise Control set to activate appears on the instrument panel. You can use the Stop and Go Adaptive Cruise Control between 0 and 92.2 miles per hour or 0 and 160 kilometers per hour. In any case, the minimum cruising speed that can be stored is 18 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour. Once you've reached the speed you want, press this switch up or down. The feature is then switched on and the current speed is stored. The speed appears in green on the instrument panel accompanied by this indicator light. You can change the cruise speed at any time by pressing this control up to increase the value and down to reduce it. Press and hold up or down to change the speed by increments of 6.2 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour. You can combine the stop and go adaptive cruise control with traffic sign detection by pressing this switch. The system then uses the camera to identify speed limits and displays them on the instrument panel. When the traffic sign is passed, the cruise control speed takes on the value of the detected speed. You can also activate the cruise control system with early recognition of speed limit signs. The system then uses connected map data along with data from the camera to anticipate changes to the speed limit hundreds of yards before the sign appears. So your speed gradually changes to match the legal speed limit without you doing anything. To turn this feature on from your Multimedia OpenR link screen, go to the Vehicle World, select Driving Aids, and then Comfort. Select Adaptive Cruise Control and choose On or Off. The letter A appears on the instrument panel to tell you that the feature is on. You also see the speed limit sign for the stretch of road you're on and the upcoming speed limit. Note that if the difference between your vehicle speed and the speed limit is significant, you may be asked to manually validate the speed adaptation by pressing this button. A white square will appear around the indicated speed to inform you of this. You can also turn on the advanced recognition of the line of the road ahead. Go to the Comfort tab, then click here. The system uses connected map data to anticipate and automatically manage changes in vehicle speed when coming up to a roundabout or a bend. The roundabout or bend symbol appears on the instrument panel to tell you that the system knows about it. The system automatically matches your speed to traffic signs or the line of the road ahead, but you can cancel these changes by pressing this control up to return to the previous cruise speed. 
Please note that when the stop and go adaptive cruise control is activated, a following distance is always activated by default. This corresponds to a two-second following time displayed in green on the instrument panel. When the system detects a vehicle in your lane, a vehicle silhouette appears on the instrument panel above the tracking bars. Your vehicle then matches its speed to that of the vehicle in front and brakes if need be to maintain the following distance as displayed on the instrument panel. The size of the silhouette changes depending on the distance between you and the vehicle in front. The larger the silhouette, the closer the vehicle. The following distance between you and the vehicle in front can be adjusted by pressing this switch several times. Horizontal tracking bars appear on the instrument panel representing the distance you've set. The further away the bar is from your vehicle, the longer the following time. About 2.4 seconds for a long distance and 1.2 seconds for the closest following distance. Once the cruising speed is stored and distance control is activated, you can take your foot completely off the accelerator and brake pedals. However, you are strongly advised to keep your feet close to the pedals to be ready to intervene if necessary. When you come up behind a slower vehicle in the same lane, your speed will adjust to theirs to maintain your set following distance. If the vehicle in front slows down and stops for up to 30 seconds before moving off again, your vehicle will do the same without you having to touch the pedals. If the system detects an obstacle in the surroundings, automatic restarting will be prevented until the next shutdown. If the vehicle restarts after 30 seconds, simply touch the accelerator or press this button to move off. The message, press res, or the accelerator to restart cruise control is displayed on the instrument panel to confirm this. If you stop for longer than three minutes, adaptive cruise control will be switched off and the electronic parking brake will be applied. You will then have to restart the function. Be aware, however, that the function has limited braking power and cannot provide emergency braking. If the symbol displays the detected vehicle in orange, accompanied by an audible signal, it's telling you that you need to watch out and be ready to intervene. If this display appears accompanied by an audible signal, you must take immediate evasive action because the stop and go adaptive cruise control cannot brake sufficiently to avoid the hazard. You can exceed the cruise speed at any time when overtaking, for example, simply by depressing the accelerator pedal. While you're overtaking, the cruise speed will flash yellow on the instrument panel. If the distance from the vehicle in front is less than the distance you have selected, the distance control function is no longer provided and the following bar flashes on the instrument panel. Please note that when your speed exceeds 43 miles per hour, switching on the flashing indicator temporarily reduces the stored following distance and increases your vehicle's acceleration to enable overtaking. When you've finished overtaking, gently release the accelerator pedal so that cruise and distance control restart automatically. The system can be put on standby by pressing the brake pedal or pressing this switch. The system automatically switches to standby when the gear lever is in position P, R or N, when you unfasten the driver's seatbelt or open one of the doors or when you're driving on a steep slope. The cruising speed and the following distance are then stored. The indicator light appears in grey on the instrument panel accompanied by the message Adaptive Cruise Control Disconnected. Just press this switch up to restart it. The last settings that were saved are then restored. Pressing this switch down restarts cruise control and applies your current speed instead of the stored speed. 
Lastly, simply press the same switch to turn off the stop and go adaptive cruise control. To ensure the system functions correctly, make sure that the camera and radar are not obstructed, for example by dirt, mud or snow. Note that the adaptive cruise control is intended for driving on motorways and main roads. The function may be temporarily disrupted when the visibility of the road is poor or if it includes hairpin bends. The camera and radar only detect vehicles traveling in the same direction as you and when they are in the detection range. In addition, you must deactivate the adaptive cruise control if you're towing a trailer. Finally, bear in mind that this feature is an additional driving aid that must not replace your vigilance as a driver. Generally speaking, always adapt your speed to the traffic conditions, irrespective of the system's indications.